what's up guys it's your boy Thurs and I'm back with another video before we get into this video if it's your first time on my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that every time I drop a new video you're gonna be the first ones to know and if you already turned a subscriber thank you guys for your support you guys already know the deal you guys already know what's up now you guys I'm back with another sneaker review for you guys and this time after a couple L's I finally been able to get my hands on these so without holding y'all up, I got the Yeezy Boost 350s, the Zebras, they are in here you guys. This is like their what, their fourth or fifth restock, their last one was in um, 2018 and April 9th, they came back again. So let's get into it you guys. So we got the regular 350 box, only difference is you know this kind of logo um the previous logos were more basically you know it says the whole yeezy boost whatever kind of deal um same box concept nothing different guys you know how the fresh pair goes so here they are the zebras of course nothing too major change in this restock but just a little minor thing change but we'll get into that in a little bit but just take a good look at these for a quick second you guys you guys we got the zebra effect going on you know the black and the white which contemplate each other and you got the whole little white strip going on the side on both sides and you got the pull tag in the back unlike the um which ones didn't have it shoot I forgot the, shoot I keep forgetting the name um the belugas the beluga I said belugas the belugas they don't have the pull tag which these do and um to be quite honest, I really like the vibe with these color, with this this specific colorway. We got the red, you know, supply uh, supply 50 logo going on on most of the Easy Boost 350s. We mostly have these. The um the logo going on the insole, nothing too different. Same concept. We got the white insole going on with the Easy logo, of course. Nothing too major, like I said. Laces, white, pull tag, black and white zebra effect going on. But this time, one major change that I've heard that they made, and I'm gonna look to see if this is actually true. We got the translucent sole going on. Previously, you know, we had like, the sole was not really translucent. And what you could kind of see it right here, you could see you have you have the translucent effect going on and it's been said you guys that this soul this translucent soul they've corrected the yellowing that's been happening when we have like the whole white kind of clear soul going on you know where this felt quite a long time these turn yellow i've heard that the yellowing has been corrected so we're in it i feel like that would be the only way we could tell if the yellowing has stopped so hopefully Hopefully these don't turn yellow and if the fact that they really don't turn yellow, I feel like this is a hit with it because To be quite honest in my opinion, I wish these would just stay the way it is You guys know it. any type of sneaker you get like the clear effect going on 
the sole is white, it's easily, easily yellow. It turns yellow. Then like him, you walk, put it back in the box, wake up, yellow. But to be quite honest, you guys, I really like this colorway, but the value has decreased. I guess I don't know if it's because of the restock. When these first came out, the price was really the resale price was high and these didn't go for that much these was like what 220 now they're 230 10 more dollars compared to the usual when you know regular 350s were dropping up i don't know what's going on with this type of price range going on lately you know stuff been getting high price but these went for 230 compared to the previous 350 releases um they were going for 220 resale like i was just mentioning it's not that high it's about what 300 compared to where they first came out we was talking about like five six hundred now these are mainly going for like 300 so it's pretty much easy to get their hands on i mean it's like what the fourth fifth restock i suppose yeah last one was 2018 but to be quite honest you guys just take a good look like it's the effect that I really like. Guys, let me know your opinions about these. You know, with, what y'all think about these. But, um, I feel like these, in a sense, are more easy to style only because, you know, the black and the white contemplate each other. And then, you know, it's pretty much easy to pull something off, you know, black and white. You could just wear something all black, mix it up, black and white. Any type of color, like, more so it's going more like a, you know it's kind of like a staple white black easily to style e i said easily easy to style in my opinion then you got the red effect going on that which also makes it pop you could wear something so quite simple and then you know this red is just gonna make it pop more in a sense in my opinion let me know i was able to cop these pair on um the adidas app not on confirmed actually well i also copped the pair on confirmed but i got these via an exclusive drop that happened on um the adidas app and i was able to pick these up in the city sizing wise it's recommended to go half size up as you guys know these go really tight this is a size 11 and i'm not gonna lie to you i initially signed up for 11 and a half on the confirmed app and um for the exclusive drop, I totally forgot. I'm so used to just getting the 11. 11 is my regular shoe size and not thinking about the 11 and a half. So I got an 11 in these and um, these are quite tight. Like in this area, like the foot, main foot area, my toe area, it's really tight. So if you're planning on buying these, make sure you get it half size up. So if you want 11, get 11 and a half. If you were 10, get a 10 and a half. You guys know the deal. So as you guys seen, you can't really tell that it's tight on my feet, but when you actually get these sneakers in your actual size, pretty much a comfortable sneaker, you could do anything you want with these, run errands, work out, wear them casually, whatever you want to do with these. You guys, let me know what you think about these zebras, about the restocking, what you think. Should they keep going with this restock or should they just keep it right there and wait a couple more years or whatever they want to do with these? Let me know in the comments. If you guys like this video, make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. Share this video to your friends, family, anybody you might think of. And if you are a new subscriber, like I said, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications so you won't miss a video. You guys, this is more so a sneaker fashion, a little bit of lifestyle into it type of channel. So if you like it, hit that button. And if you are a return subscriber, like I said, you know the vibe already. Y'all know the deal. Thank you for your support. Thanks for tuning in to this video today. And without further ado, it's your boy Thurs signing out yet again. See you guys on the next video.